So the Apple Watch Ultra is now about half a year old, six months, and there are definitely some good things about this watch, but there are also some bad things. So the first thing that I would like to talk about, and that is the huge display. Now, I don't care that much that it's an Retina LTPO display, but I like that it's the size of 1.92 inches. Like this navigating on this watch is just so much easier. Just for example, if I get my notifications, it's so much easier to read messages on a larger display. The Apple Watch SE and other ones, can they can get a little bit small. Also something that is great are the reply options. Not only do you get a whole lot of them, but once again, since you have a large screen, it's so much easier to find the right emojis or write a message. The keyboard is so much larger and it's definitely more fun to write a text over here. Now we're not done with the screen yet. So compared to a whole lot of other smartwatches, the Apple Watch Ultra gets super bright with a maximum of 2000 nits. Like this, it's no problem to read all of your notifications messages outside in the brightest conditions. Now it does come at the cost of your battery life a little bit, but we'll get to that later on in the video. So having a large display is such a big advantage compared to other smartwatches. Now you can say that a larger display comes with a larger case and that again can be uncomfortable during the nights, workouts or just doesn't look as good on a smaller wrist. I guess you can argue about that one. I got a 7 inch wrist which I think is a little bit bigger than most and the watch definitely feels big on the wrist but you don't notice it as much as other big smartwatches since this one only weighs in at 61 grams which is definitely pretty light for such a large smartwatch. Now I gotta admit that I don't wear smartwatches during the night and if I look at this chunky one, I wouldn't recommend wearing this one either. All right, so depending on the watch strap that you take, this watch can feel amazing. So I took this fabric style and I think it's the best choice ever. I've had so many watches over the last years on my wrist, some with a stainless steel band, which are always super heavy and not that great for workout, silicon straps, which are a little bit better, but you still sweat a whole lot underneath them. But this fabric strap right here is just perfect. I think, it, at least in my opinion, it doesn't stick to your skin during your workouts and the closing mechanism is just great. Super easy to adjust and I think it's actually faster than with a normal mechanism. Now a big change they made to the Apple Watch Ultra if you want to compare it to other Apple Watches or even other smartwatch brands like the Garmin and Samsung watches and that's the speakers. Now these ones get super loud with a maximum of 68 decibel which is quite loud. That means taking calls on this watch and talking to friends even in a louder environment is no problem at all and you understand people quite well. The other feature that is getting affected by those loudspeakers is your Siri voice assistant. You can ask all of your questions and even when you are in the kitchen cooking and you got some loud music popping in the background, you still have a clear answer that you can understand on the first try. So the speakers are a great addition to the Apple Watch Ultra. The next point on my list is the battery and the charging speed. Right here my fittings are a little bit mixed. So as long as you use a fast charger in order to charge your Apple Watch Ultra, you are good to go. But if you use one of those third party chargers, it can really take a while until your smartwatch is fully charged. Also, the battery life isn't the greatest. No, hold up. <laughs> I know they increased the battery life by a lot compared to the normal Apple Watch 8. In fact, they doubled the battery life from 18 hours to 36 hours. But 36 hours is still not that great. This watch is supposed to be a smartwatch for adventures and normally those kind of activities last longer than just one and a half days. If I'm gone for two days and longer, I would rather take a Garmin smartwatch or a smartwatch from Huawei since they last up to 14 days on normal usage and at least five days with the open display mode toggled on. So why would I go with the Apple Watch Ultra in that case? Now if I use my Spotify, this works great with a larger display. By twisting your crown from your home display, you can switch over to the night mode and back, which is very convenient. And if you run certain apps on your watch, you can watch YouTube videos and this makes more sense on the Ultra since the display is so large and you can actually see what's going on in the video. A very useful feature is the action button on the side. Most of us, including me, will just leave it as it is and connect it to your workouts, but you can actually customize this one and connect it to your stopwatch. You can start diving modes and other features, just in case you didn't know. So now I mentioned a whole lot of good things about the Apple Watch Ultra. And in fact, this one is one of the best smartwatches right now, but the problem is when we talk about the price. I don't think that you need to spend all that money on a smartwatch. 
if you need a smartwatch for longer trips and need a good battery life, go for one of the Garmin watches or even the Huawei watch. If you need a good built-in GPS, Garmin watches are just as good as the Apple watch and Huawei watches are almost as good. Only if you need those two things in combination with a lot of smartwatch features and a very sturdy build, you can go with the Apple Watch Ultra. Right now, there is no other smartwatch on the market that can compete with all of that. All I really want is to have a few more color options. There's basically just this titanium version with the orange action button and that's it. I mean, you can get a whole lot of extra bands to spice things up, but that's it. Now, I've compared this watch also to other smartwatches like the Huawei Watch Ultra. Just click that video right here to get right to it. And I guess with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.